Hello guys, Dave Dog here. We're back for season 11 and we're in the National League. This is the second time we've made it there. Last time was a disaster. We finished bottom of the league and dumped straight back into National League North. We're hoping to do better this time. We've got a home game against Colchester. But first of all, let's have a look how we went on in Sam Fielding's testimonial match against York. As you can see there, we lost 2-0. But not as bad as that sounds. York put out a full strength team. We mixed and matched a little bit. Sam Fielding, of course, played the full game and played quite well. We played our normal system, more or less, but having Claxton a bit withdrawn as a left wing back, not many players playing that well. We kept the what we should be playing as our back three, Florio, Higby and Critchlow. And Sinclair, our sub 16 year old keeper started only a 6.3 so can't really blame him for either of the goals we'll see those in a minute Humphreys and Scott up front started with Trusty behind the midfield totally different we had Banks on the right fielding and Hinchy in the centre so we mixed it about a little bit but the better finishing was from York let's just have a look at the goals then both of them came from crosses from the right a throw in here Seedon gets away crosses to the back post and Taylor unchallenged there. Banks finds himself up against him on that one. And this one was a similar one. Gets away again, Seedon. Crosses in. This time, Taylor unchallenged by Florio. Florio should have done better there. And those were the two goals we conceded. Again, as I said, you couldn't blame Sinclair much for those. So before we look at today's team, let's have a look if we've made any signings since you were last with us. So the player we brought in on the 28th was... Fabio Vicente, he's a left winger, also can play in the left midfield slot just as well. 25 years old, three star at the moment, potential of three and a half star. Crossing 11, dribbling 10. Pacey, 14 pace, acceleration 14, agility 17. Is a left footer, tries killer balls often and was released by York. Experienced at National League level last season, he was three full appearances, five subs, two goals, two assists, an average rating of seven. So a decent player. We've had to pay quite a lot of money, wages wise, £750 a week, plus 119 appearance fees. We just had to get somebody else in. We need some central defenders. We haven't been able to get people across the line because of the wage problem. I've been trying to keep to the wage limits we've had around about five six hundred a week we got that one over the line a few days ago probably not starting the game today so let's have a look how we're lining up then today against colchester we've made seven changes from the starting team that took on york in sam fielding's testimonial mccauley returns in goals atwood comes into the back three replacing Higby, the dash line between Florio and Atwood, not too bothered about that. They have played together there. We're going with a four in midfield. Banks keeps his place on the right after a good performance against York. Edwards and Fiora are the partnership in the centre with McIntyre, who had a good pre-season on the left. Up front, Trusty in his favoured role of shadow striker behind Westwood and Berlin. Now we're going in balance to start with, but we're going to hope that to positive if we get through the first 15, 20 minutes or so. On the bench then, we've got McGee, Higby, new sign-in Vicente, Luke Gray and Humphreys. Keenly sides out with an injury seven days before he can return. Otherwise, he would probably have got the nod on the bench. Let's see how we go then in this first game against Colchester. Pre-match team talk then, first thing I notice is, as usual, Jordan Führer is aggressive. He does well, really. He doesn't get that many yellow cards to say he's always aggressive. New sign-in, Fabio Vicente is focused and he's ready to come on, hopefully. Gianluca saying, it's important that we make you full use of him. Right? Let's go out and get a result. I'm going to agree with that. Why not? Let's pump fists and say that. And no <laughs> response whatsoever. So, let's have a look. How... Colchester are lining up. There's our 3 4 1 2 that we've been using pre season to good effect mostly. Colchester a 3 4 2 1. So similar could be a bit of a stalemate here. Let's kick off then. Skip the formalities and we've got no colour clash today. We're in white. 
there in yellow and blue and uh, quite a big crowd for the first game 1389 tickets sold so that is the difference going up this league we should be getting more money in this season uh, we are two to one but colchester being the more established team in this league are five to four favorites and uh, if we can get a point out of this i wouldn't be too unhappy and uh, just a minute i've got this on comprehensive highlights i think yeah let's change that i have that on for the friendlies let's go to key highlights like we normally do otherwise this game could last forever so get back into the action then fury going forward but lee kicks that one out but we've gained regained possession trusty to mcintyre puts it across but blocked by the defender mcintyre's been playing great on that wing position and uh, a good signing on loan again from sheffield wednesday our affiliate club fura with the corner kick and it goes in but it's uh, cleared out and uh, colchester clear but we've picked up the ball again critchlow we continue to attack and is that a penalty <laughs> a little more like our player foul there, but an early penalty. Fourth minute, Westwood to get on the mark, hopefully. Doesn't usually miss, sends the keeper the wrong way. And Westwood is well fancied to be top scorer in this league. His second favourite, which is uh, good news. The bookies fancy him, and if he can have a good season like he did last season at this higher level, then we could comfortably survive in this league and uh, an early lead on balance we'll keep on balance for the time being but we're having most of the play and it's going well so far so far so good berlin coming deep picking it up plays it back to florio florio where's he going we're certainly keeping possession here headwood headwards edwards no h in that fiora we keep in possession, McIntyre, McIntyre gets by the fullback, he's going to get a cross in here, looks like it, just a, a neat ball into Trusty, back to McIntyre, we're playing some good football here, Banks at the far post, but beaten to it by the fullback, and we still keep possession, and uh, it's looking good so far, McIntyre's finding space in the box, plays it back, but cut out by Colchester, not really much of a high like that, <laughs> a lot of uh, toing and froing, but we're on top, we were on top it's a corner now to colchester and uh, critchlow heads clear but that's just gone over the bar and uh, scare over we're second in the league stop the game there stop the game actually second's not good enough it's only playoffs and uh, really we don't uh, generally do playoffs well atwood playing it slow across the back to florio edwards He's linking up well with these three central defenders. Westwood's got away. Westwood's away. Round the keeper. And he scored two in the first 18 minutes. Jordan Westwood on his third loan season with us. What a difference this guy makes when he's on form. He's certainly on form. And uh, long ball through from Florio. Westwood beating his man for pace. Keeper in no man's land. And he slots it in. Jordan Westwood. What a guy. Let's uh, go on to positive, uh, although we're doing all right on balance, but we're going to go positive, see if we can increase this lead. There's lots of space. Colchester, look, don't look at it today. McIntyre, back to Critchlow. Critchlow, new boy this season. Führer, through to Westwood. Westwood, Berlin's in this time. Berlin makes it 3-0. We couldn't have expected a better start than this. 20 minutes in, we're 3-0 up. Both strikers on form and Colchester just haven't turned up so far. Critchlow plays it through. Fiora first time to Westwood. Westwood first time to Berlin. He's on goal on the keeper and slots it away. These two could have goals in them this season. We just need to strengthen our defence, I think. There we are. York have gone behind against Gillingham in their game. So we're going to discount that first game, that uh, friendly game against York. Although... It was 2-0. We didn't really play too badly, although the marks say differently. And on another day, didn't show you the highlights for us, but we did miss quite a few chances and couldn't have expected better. We're going in with a 3-0 lead at half-time. We've just got to play something similar in the second half. Team talk, I'm going to go with my usual. 3-0 it may be, but we've got to stay focused in the second half. Don't allow complacency 
to creep in and that's gaining focus so we've not got to let them get back in the game let's start the second half then and uh, three shots nothing on target from Colchester but they're on the attack here they'll have had a right rollicking at half time what's happened there it's a penalty is it McIntyre oh god this referee likes giving penalties they're going to get one back straight away just what we didn't want Blanford steps up sends McCauley the wrong way so we've got a game on now let's go back to balanced and uh, we don't want to see that again and Colchester have made just the start they wanted is this going to be the proverbial game of two halves I hope not we've got in Westwood's in again he's looking for a hat trick Berlin picks up the loose ball plays it to Trusty Trusty tacking into the box into the box and Trusty scores we get our three goal lead back again 4-1 well played there by Trusty took it on brilliantly and slotted it in let's see this again Berlin plays him through thought I'm going on my own here beats two men player plays it on a little bit there it could have knocked that for a corner so a bit fortuitous there but trusty slots it in I don't rate their keepers that much he hasn't done much and uh, it looks like we're going to win the first game and make a brilliant start plenty of time to go yet but 4-1 up and uh, dropping back to balance seems to help I'm going to stay unbalanced Florio to Edwards Edwards to Fiora. Fiora, our main man could still be transferred and save keepers made a save that's what you're there for pal and uh, Fiora York equalizing in their game so coming back against Gillingham Fiora with the corner but headed out by Colchester Banks picks up Banks to Trusty Trusty puts it to his left foot has a shot that's blocked Atwood Atwood plays it all the way back to Edwards and uh, that's the end of the highlight highlights coming thick and fast here lots in this game we've only 55 minutes on the clock five goals and what a, a treat for the fans here that's not a penalty is it is it no <laughs> i'm gonna say is this the game of dodgy penalties headed over and i'm loving this i'm loving this better than i could have expected at all as i said before the game we could possibly get a draw <laughs> certainly not we're storming but let's not get too carried away we don't know how good Colchester or bad Colchester might be uh, they've certainly not turned up Trusty making a great run and he scores again what a game Trusty's having in the second half two goals from him and he's doing it all on his own he's got to get the man of the match surely between him and Westwood two goals apiece look at this picks it up right out there but he's direct he cuts inside and keeper again a bit suspect there but good finish from trusty and it's 5-1 i <laughs> just couldn't have expected this to be going so well and uh, I'm, I'm a bit uh, reluctant to make any changes in this we're just playing so well but i suppose that we've got to give our new guy that's sitting on the bench a game so let's have a look then trust is taking a not indicating he wants to come off it could be a tight hamstring mm. Let's have a look then. Nobody's playing really badly. The worst mark is Banks at 6.6. .6. So I'm going to give him a rest. It was almost my intention to play Luke Gray after he played well in the previous friendlies. But Banks had a good game against York. So we're going to bring Gray on as Banks isn't playing as well. Put him on attack. And how can I get Vicente into this game? McIntyre could put him back as a wing back yeah let's do that let's put McIntyre back there he can play as wing back um put him on attack 5-1 up we can't be really defending so Vicente is going to come on for trusty and play there so slightly different formation 4-3-1-2 let's see how Vicente and Gray go on and here we go 2-1 Gillingham against York Fiora free kick to the back post Florio's there, heads it in. What is going on here? 6 1. Oh, it's been disallowed. He's offside. What were you doing offside at the free kick? So, still 5 1. And Colchester getting the ball. Emerson's getting away from Florio, is it? And pulls one back. 5 2. <laughs> As I say, we need to strengthen our defence. But if we're scoring five goals a game, 
then why why not? why not why not have some entertaining games yeah Emerson got away who was that was it Florio I can't see Atwood no Atwood was on the right skip that tight offside I don't think he was but they've come back into the game here let's go attacking positive sorry positive and uh, Southport going to make this look a little better for them Callum gets through here scores 5-3 <laughs> oh, making them subs didn't work did it it's 5-3 but if we weren't to get a win out of this game then something would be terribly wrong we don't want to see their goals again they're splitting through the middle we just got no pace we need a little bit of pace I think in the centre and it's going to be 5-3 3.04 1.45 we're just giving a little bit too much away in defense uh, although Macaulay is getting the brunt of that at 6.4 Florio 7.4 Atwood 6.8 Critchlow 6.7 so maybe we needed a little bit more pressure on the ball from the midfield although can't see anybody that's really played badly can't complain at that look at those two forwards two goals apiece for Trusty and Westwood and Berlin getting one what a first game. Should get more fans coming back. Nice work, everybody. That was good. It wasn't good in the second half, was it? 4 1 was it half time? 5 3. So we lost the second half after telling them not to be complacent. I'm not going to be hard on them. Let's just go with what Jan Luca says. And everybody's happy and delighted. And what a start. We're third in the league. <laughs> Could have been better if we hadn't conceded those goals in the second half Telford top in the league six goal difference beating Chester 6-0 York lost their game so 2-1 going down how did fellow promoted team Kettering go on they drew 0-0 at home to Notts County so they'd be happy with that so let's have a look where we're going to come back Trusty's got a tight hamstring one to two days so not too bad with that one I'm going to play quite a few games the end of August Barrow away try and get some more defenders in to strengthen the squad in between times a bit of pace probably that seems to where we were, we were getting done so thank you very much for watching hope you've enjoyed it if you have please leave a like subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so and i'll be back for season 11 episode 2 when we play barrow away for now this is dave dog goodbye